everybody. This is Diana from Ukraine here. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? Before we will get started, uh, I just wanted to welcome you to my live stream. And here is a little bit about this channel. Hello, привет, and welcome to Ukraine Dating TV. Our channel is the world's first of its kind, providing free live streaming every single day. Ukrainian women, it's like five in one. It's perfect mothers, perfect wives, perfect cookers, perfect lovers, perfect housekeepers and perfect friends. Seven days a week with the real, genuine, beautiful Ukrainian ladies. Our channel was created for you, guys. Finally, now you have the opportunity to video chat live. Seven days a week with different, beautiful Ukrainian girls of all ages and walks of life. You get to ask all your deepest burning questions about all things Ukraine. Ukraine culture, Ukraine women and Ukraine current events. And if you come to enough of our live streams, you might even discover what makes us mysterious Ukrainian women too. Now we have seven girls live streaming and in the future we'll have many more. Guys, I think you understand we're like David fighting Goliath here to bring you the truth once and for all. Our channel's purpose is to debunk the myth and stigma created by the toxic paper letter scam industry. And we hope you agree the best way to accomplish that is by giving you the opportunity to video chat with average Ukrainian girls that represent the real women of Ukraine. And then you be the judge about what's real and what's not. Guys, please know that we're doing this all for you. So do me a favor and subscribe to our new channel and help us help you, your fellow man, and help us bring Goliath to his knees. So guys, can I ask you to share this video with all your friends, even work colleagues? Share it far and wide in social. Only together we can make a difference, guys. And remember, guys, we just started this channel, so more new girls will be joining our live streaming team in the coming weeks. Now, since each girl will be going live every day at different times, so you want to make sure that you hit that bell so YouTube will notify you every time each girl goes live, so you don't miss out. A short video about me. So yeah, it was the last video, so now I'll be with you for one hour. So I just wanted to remind you that you're welcome to ask me any of your burning questions and I will be happy to answer to let you know more about Ukraine culture, our ladies, our beautiful 
uh, ladies and also about um, events in Ukraine and in general what's going on. So um, I will be happy to do that. And also before we will get started, please um, like this video, subscribe on our channel and hit the bell because remember we are um, going to have more girls now more live streaming beautiful girls so um, don't miss out and uh, hit the bell <laughs> so um guys today's topic is i think very interesting because um uh, we will talk about um how ladies are scammed i think it's something new here because we speak a lot about how men are scammed about red flags for men but the truth is that ladies are also scammed uh, very much. So I, I would like today to talk about this more, to show you some some interesting uh, things here. And uh, I, I hope that you will like it. Um, and uh, yes, so we will get started. Please write me here in chat your name. Where are you from? <laughs> um, hello, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, Bill. Hello, Juan. Everybody's here. Hello, what, what? Guys, I'm very, very happy to see you're here already at the studio. And I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Somebody's eating pizza here. Bon appetit. <laughs> Hello, Privet. Privet, Leo. Hello. Nice talking to you today. Me too. Thank you. So, Leo is our... Uh, um, X, um, X, X, uh, I don't know how to say that, um, X worker, I, I think I cannot say that. So Leo used to work with Medgar and T, so I spoke with Leo today. Nice to meet you, Leo. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yes, guys, so I will start with that. Uh, I know that um, in uh, previous Eula's live stream, you asked her about this, you asked her about a <clears throat> scam uh, if the ladies are scammed and you spoke a little bit on Julia's live stream and Julia also told me about this so I just uh, wanted to share with you what I know about this and uh, hello Gregory hello <laughs> it's not the best topic I mean not the, the most positive topic but I feel that I need to share this with you so you will know what's what's the reality uh, and I've told you before many times that um, a big red flag for the guy will be that a uh, lady is uh, absolutely calm about their communication she, and if, uh, uh, if she's 100% sure in him when she have never spoke with him, she have never met him, she had never uh, spoke with him by phone, by video and she's 100% calm. 100% sorry calm and sure in him so this is the red flag and today you will understand why um, so recently um, we received um, an email from our client that uh, our uh, one of our ladies um, at match guarantee is on a scam website so of course uh, we um, Right away, reached out to this lady because we're all the time checking all this uh, information that we receive, and we appreciate if, if you help us, you know, to find out something. And um, we reached out to the lady. Uh, lady's name is Svetlana. So our client sent us this screenshot uh, that Svetlana is on Gold Bride's website. So we reached right away to Svetlana. Here is her photos on Gold Bride's. And uh, do you know what, guys? Svetlana was shocked with that. First of all, she never registered with this website. And uh, she asked us to help, to help with this, you know, because she was shocked. She never registered with them and she, she did not expect something like this will happen. So, um, I just wanted to announce that um, Anna and uh, Svetlana uh, are going live together uh, this Saturday on our uh, Med Guarantee channel. I will put you the link uh, below. They are uh, going live at Saturday once again at 11 a.m. Eastern time. 
So you're welcome to join them. Uh, Anna will talk to Svetlana live uh, and Svetlana will tell, tell all of this story you now going on. And uh, I just also wanted to ask you if you are, you know, professional in um, uh, cyber, um, uh, cyber security and you know uh, any way that can help us to delete Svetlana's profile from Gold Brides, please uh, email us at info. I will now write it down here. This email info at medgarinc, uh, spelled with y, uh, dot com. And please um, let us know um, with this email address if you if you know any way uh, or if you can help us because now Svetlana really need help. She wants to to delete her profile, her photos from this website. She never, you know, posted it by herself and she's shocked now. So we really need help with this. And if you um, are good in cybersecurity or you know anybody who is good in this, please reach out to us, okay? Um, I hope that we will help Svetlana to solve this because it's really scary. Uh, what what is writing? Not just Svetlana, unfortunately. Do you know any other ladies who have the same situation? So, unfortunately, um, or fortunately, okay, guys, I think it's fortunately. I don't know many situations like this, but I have heard about some. That's why we will talk about this today. Jacob is saying the 24 and 75 age range is ridiculous. Uh, that should be the biggest red flag for guys to notice. Absolutely. Absolutely, Jacob. Thank you. <laughs> um, and um, what I wanted to tell you that, first of all, it is very popular. Um, I mean, in Ukraine, um, it is, as you know, as you know, I have told you this story already many times that I was looking for a job. I um, uh, found a vacancy for a translator in Kiev. I went to the office and it found out this office of scam. A scam website and there are 90% guys working in there uh, communicating with the men from ladies profiles so um, I, I've told you about this story but I did not told you that um, the reality is that when you're looking for a job I don't know I think I think 60% of the vacancies. They can be different, guys. They can be different on, you know, this website when you can find the work, special website for vacancies. There are different uh, of them. They, they can write that they're looking for administrator. Oh, they often um, uh, put these ads that the, uh, some companies looking for administrator. Um, so when you call them, they just told you, okay, come to an interview, um, this address. And it's very important note that they always ask ladies to give their pass passport. Always. Always. And um, I have also, uh, you know, have been on such interviews so um i don't know even where to begin with because it's hard for me to talk about this because it's really scary thing and uh, i have also been to some of these interviews so how that happened uh they're just looking for 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 a lady they're just looking for a lady they don't put in their ad that they're looking for a lady but if the guy calls them they just say like oh i'm sorry it's not available anymore you know this vacancy is not available we have found um candidate good candidate so um and when the ladies call them they uh, say yeah yeah um this vacancy is still available so you can come to our office but take passport with you very important and i would say you a very important thing is that usually when you go to the interview you know um uh, 
for a job it's not uh, necessary for you to give the passport i mean if it's um, usually they they can ask you know you to give to take some diploma i mean to show your degree or your um previous experience with work but not passport this is uh, kind of strange you know um so uh, i have found the ad like this it was the administration job in the center of kiev in the beautiful office so i came there and uh, um so I, I just entered the office and they told me like uh, put your um i i it was winter i was wearing you know winter coat and i had a bag with me so they asked me to uh leave the coat um uh, in the in the hall and go to the room to for the interview i left my coat uh, in the hall and that so i took um uh, my bag with me and they told me no leave the bag in the hall i came back to the hall put the bag and i took my phone and my wallet you know i don't want to leave it in the hall so when i entered the room they told me no you should also leave your phone and your wallet in the hall and i asked why so they told me um because what if you will record this an interview and that in that moment i realized that the interview will not be today <laughs> i mean um and i thought like and even if i will record this interview what what's wrong i mean is there any secrets hiding here obviously yes so that's why i just went um again to the hall i just grabbed my things and i went out of the office i didn't tell anything i just went out because um i i felt scary i felt scary and um after i spoke with many of my um friends in ukraine i mean girls um who went at the same the same uh scenario uh, they went to interview and uh, uh, so what was the job about? The job was about um, scamming by phone or it was prostitution or it was um, uh, the same like translator. So this is pretty scary because as I told you, like, I don't know, I think 60% of the ads everywhere, they're like, the, like this. And... Um, it's hard to understand that this is, you know, scam they can see because they usually uh, tell you that it's administrator, administration or translation, something that everybody's searching for, you know, especially when you're speaking English and you want to find a job that will be, you know, um, somehow in English and um, you will need to speak with people. It's just very hard, very hard to find. Um, Okay. Uh, here is a comment from what what uh, Diana Joseph knows about some of them being on uh, questionable sites, both current are uh, both current and past clients of MG. Oh my God. Mailed him about it. Uh, even Maria is on some site. Our Maria, our Maria that is going to be live tomorrow. Our Maria, you mean? This pretty lady? By the way, guys, just reminding you that Maria goes live tomorrow at noon Eastern. So please join. Uh, yes, you're Maria. Oh my God. Guys, by the way, Maria... Uh, okay, I will not t tell you um, uh, Maria's secrets, of course. I'm sorry, but um, I will... Yes, yes, please would would uh email us again okay so i will be able to to see it or i will come back to to the email to see thank you very much a guy should call and use a female voice changer for interview <laughs> yes i mean even if he will come for interview they will refuse him somehow because they are looking for ladies they are looking for ladies 
Um, I haven't seen any of the girls on these live streams on the website. Are you going to have any ladies on the website on these live streams? Yes, Jacob, thank you very much for asking. Maybe some of our ladies um, will join Match Guarantee. Uh, we will see. Yeah, but um, for now, uh, some of our ladies, you know, in a relationship and some are not. So, yeah, just watch us and uh, maybe. Um, some of the ladies will join, join my guarantee. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, already messaged. Okay, thank you. Thank you, what, what? Uh, so, um, the reality is that this happened like this. And what I wanted to, to show you is, um, is a Ukrainian TV program. It's a pretty popular TV program. It's called um like scammers in media scammers in media so what is it about i will show you a little bit about this program uh just uh, a few minutes later but before i just wanted to explain you that this program is about scamming is how ladies and not only ladies how i mean in, in general people in ukraine are scammed very popular scamming scenarios and the host of this program of course ukrainian because it's ukrainian program uh, she has been um, on this show for um as i know they started this show firstly it was just about scam about scam in real life there was three hosts on this program two men and one lady and they uh and they were actually showing how scamming scenarios work so, so they were actually scammers so they you know just he walking on the street and he sees somebody and he makes this scenario but after of course he tell the victim that you know it was scamming it's all for a program so be careful and they show people how not to be scammed they show the examples so they have been doing this program i think about 10 years ago even more maybe and uh, after uh, five years ago, they, uh, they created a new program about scam in media. It was only about scam in media. And there is one host, Ukrainian beautiful lady, uh, Christina. And uh, so she's actually showing, um, she's, she's been a victim in this program. She's been a victim and she's showing uh, guys how, um, this uh, scamming scenario can work so i'm going to show you now a bit uh, a little part of this program by screen share for you just to just to have imagination about this <laughs> okay so here is the here it is okay thank you very much here and thank you Oh my god, oh guys, god. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god guys i'm very sorry i forgot to turn on my uh sound so <laughs> thank you Juan antonio i'm sorry i'm sorry about this so what i want to tell you that the uh the program called as i told you um scamming in in media but it's also about they also check uh, uh couples if they are cheating for each other so they make provo provocative scenarios and they check um 
um, a lady or a man if they are cheating. So um, how this program works is, is this host, Christina, you have already saw her, this, this lady, um, she's searching on the um, uh, dating websites uh, for scammers. And when they when she found one, she's playing his victim. She's playing like she's his victim uh, to show how this um, a scenario works. And sometimes, uh, usually they meet on dating websites. So that's the reason why I wanted to show you that. Yes, guys. So I, I, I'm sorry. So I think you have al already understood, yeah, what it, the program about, and um, I'm showing that to you to, um, to to for you to see that it's very popular, and there are a lot of um, scamming um, uh, scenarios, and people unfortunately um, sometimes suffer from this a lot. And it can be any case, it can be, you know, there are, Christina shows that there are a lot of different um, scamming um, ways. Some of them are very short, so they can scam you, I don't know, for one hour. Some of them are very long because she showed some cases where she has been communicating with a man for one month or more and he scammed her. So it is a reality. And uh, with this, I wanted to show you that ladies are also very scared to get scammed. And if you're communicating with a lady and she's not scared of it at all, she's, you know, 100% sure that you're real. She had never seen you. She had never spoke with you. And she's like relaxed 100%. This is strange. This is my personal, in my opinion, this is number one red flag for me, I mean, if I were a man, because this is really strange. She should be also scared. She should also care about who are you. So uh, it's a bit hard for me to talk about this uh, because um, I remember me in this situation when I went to this, you know, um, uh, to this vacancy when I was looking for a job and it's really hard to find uh, <laughs> real job in, in Ukraine, not scamming. So um, I hope you understand a little bit now. And um, also, I just wanted to remind you that you're welcome to ask me all your questions because I can see any questions here in the chat. <laughs> so I'm a bit worried. Is everything well? Um, and um, yeah, unfortunately, that's how reality is. So there are different people scamming. It can be, you know, young ladies uh, and uh, men also. So it's not also <laughs> still here. Hello, Atua. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, yes. I just wanted to remind you that if you have any questions to me, uh, you're welcome to ask me here. I'm here today to talk to you. And I can see that you're quiet in the chat. So please, guys, maybe I'm too boring today because it's serious topic, I think, but I just uh, felt that I need to inform you about this. And uh, also wanted to remind you that uh, tomorrow, not tomorrow, on Saturday, sorry, on Saturday, Anna and Svetlana, this lady who found her profile on what turns out she uh, has her profile on scam website are going live on Saturday, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern. So please join. <laughs> okay. Uh, so a lot of companies scam, scam people, not just fake dating agency. Absolutely. Mostly, I will explain you, mostly scammers are on the date agencies. Why? Because it's a good opportunity to meet somebody new because there is... Um, mm, uh, there is a reason 
to to meet this person because if you will just go meet somebody on the street and try to scam this person person it will be hard but if you meet somebody on the website it's a good um reason to to get to know this person and to meet so it will be easier to scam them uh but yes i also watch this program unfortunately and i i'm you know it's uh, i feel sad that i cannot show you this program on english unfortunately maybe there are some sub subtitles let me check it no unfortunately there are not because the program is really interesting and there are um, many different ways to of scamming there are they are a lot of in real estate a lot of them are in, um, you know, there are oil leaks, second-hand website, the website where you can um, buy some some stuff from some 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 person, <laughs> and uh, it's like a second-hand website. I hope you understand, guys. Yes, what I'm talking about here. So there are also a lot of scammers on on this website, um, also because they have the reason to to meet people. So, unfortunately, uh, not just fake dating websites, yes. Uh, do you have only Ukraine women on the site? Yes, guys, we have only Ukraine women and the only one, our Russian beautiful lady that we have on Match Guarantee website is Svetlana, which, as I told you, whose photos were stolen. So, uh, Svetlana is the only one, our uh, lady from Russia. Uh, Diana, are they scamming Western Western women or Ukrainian women? They scam Ukrainian women and people also, but mostly they they are Ukrainian women, of course, because Ukrainian women women you know they are more uh, they are more trustful and they can can trust more, so it's it's easier to scam. But I would not tell you that Ukrainian people in general are trustful much. No, why? because of this reason because you can be scammed anywhere and they are just ready for everything but that still happens you know and it still happens so what i was always talking about is that scam is not about intelligence is not about are you stupid or not absolutely not scam is about professionalism of the person who is manipulating so uh, i i absolutely for sure can tell guys of course very sorry for those guys who already been scammed but i would i, I just wanted to tell that you're you don't you don't need to to feel you know um, i don't know shameful or stupid in this case because it, it's not about you it's about really professional scammers and anybody can be scammed uh people are quiet because they're paying attention oh thank you so much Richard. i really appreciate it and i hope not to to be boring because i know that this topic is serious and it's not like funny nothing good about this so today i cannot you know laugh and smile so much but i feel that i need to show you the reality uh, plus, I'm trying to find Maria's profile on the scam network so I can forward it to... Oh, thank you so much, but what? It's a really, really, really good, nice work from you and very good help. And because you will talk tomorrow to Maria and you can also message this to her uh, on tomorrow's live stream. She's all also going live with us tomorrow at noon Eastern. It will be Maria's first live <laughs> here at this channel. Hello! Hello, welcome. <laughs> uh, do the women have issues with moving uh, to the United States since it is so far away from Ukraine? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, the people will have issues to move in a, away. Uh, not, I mean, um, they will they will not move far away from Ukraine if they have husband in war in ukraine somehow i don't know they are very close um family i mean if they have a reason mm -hmm. to be next to ukraine mm -hmm. yes and uh, yes there are why there are most of uh, ukrainian people in poland right now because it's close and because they have some reasons to come back maybe they are 
um, you know, maybe they have their home and they're planning to come back. So it only depends on person's um, uh, life um, life situation. So if the person has reasons to come back, if, if there are some. Um, this uh, person will be next to Ukraine. If she, if the lady does not have husband in, in Ukraine and she does not go in to come back, it, it will not be a problem for her. I mean, for me now, okay, let's talk about me personally. I'm now in Spain. I'm very far from Ukraine. It's like very far. How many, uh, somebody told me like, I don't know, 4,000 kilometers. Am I correct? <laughs> so, as, as you know, it's very far, and uh, I'm not worried about this at all because I have, I actually don't have any big reasons to come back to Ukraine. No. So for me, if if um, if I would like, you know, have a really good opportunity to go tomorrow to states, I will go, guys. Just do me. I will because n no reasons, no big reasons. Some families, they have, I mean, if, if it's a family, you know, if the lady has her husband, her children, and uh, they have their home in Ukraine, of course, they will come back. And of course, they will try to be next to Ukraine, try to be near. Also, why uh, people also can um, stay next to Ukraine is because it's just easy to learn the language in the neighbor neighbor countries. In Czech Republic, in Poland, very easy to learn the language. That's why they, they stay there, because it just will be easier for them to get used to the country, to find a job. Uh, so that's it. Uh... Hello, Bill, with a new profile photo. <laughs> Great. So pretend uh, you're hiring and interview single women and see uh, passports and verify everything for a potential marriage. Okay. <laughs> I mean, who will be the lady I'm interviewing? <laughs> Yeah, that's great. And um, about, yeah, just, I'm sorry, guys, I because I started to tell you about passport, but I forgot to tell you the reason why they do that. Is that they, they why they, they um, uh, search in their database, uh, have you been using their, no, have you been working with them before? And... Um, Mm, and they check some, I don't know exactly, of course, because I haven't worked them, but they check somehow with your passport number. They check if you have been maybe working with them before just to understand, you know. So, uh, I mean, my uh, suggestion is that they check if you have been with them before to understand, because if you have been with them before, they scammed you. And now you came back again, maybe to expose them. It's uh, some kind of da da dangerous, uh, so um, danger of being exposed for them. So that's why they check just with your um, passport number to understand if you will make any danger for them. <clears throat> I'm sorry for my bad English today. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just money. We always earn we can always earn more we just learn from prior um, mistakes absolutely absolutely Juan Antonio and <clears throat> unfortunately as I told you there are a lot of people who earn on this and uh, yeah so I just it's just yeah it's just a fact um, do you guys know what happens to Jana live stream schedule? Jana will be uh, live at uh, on sorry on Saturday at noon Eastern time. So please join Jana's live stream. Everything is fine. Jana will be uh, live soon. So uh, hit the bell so you will not miss um, ladies' live streams, guys. Hit the bell and subscribe on the channel and like this video okay please <laughs> okay great 
I am back. I had a lot of work yesterday. Hello, Tony. Hello, Tony. <laughs> yes, thank you. Fun, you were rocking it yesterday. Yes, I have watched uh, your live stream yesterday. So yes, guys, I appreciate it when you um, join us uh, to talk with us live because it's very nice. We can not only read you, read you here in chat, but also um see you so it's very nice <laughs> here is nice comments from tony to to uh oh from uh, sony sorry al and and uh diana yes it's uh oh four thousand kilometers granite to keep yes so <laughs> it's far <laughs> and um no just no reasons to come back or people with reasons to come back, really big reasons to come back to Ukraine, or people with no reasons, actually, so. Uh, enjoy your date and talk to you later. Thank you, Leo. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy your date, too. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Diana, I'm not going to bring it up to Mary tomorrow because I don't want it to affect her while on stream. Uh, okay, yes, yes, what, what you, are, you are correct. But yes, of course, we will discuss it. And it's awful because, you know, I'm also scared about myself. I'm also scared because you never know. But you know what protects me is that uh, my all my social media are closed. I mean, are all my accounts, they are private. So um, actually nobody can steal my photos e except for those people who I know. And I hope they will not do that. Uh, because it's a nightmare. I just imagine that the lady, she come, you know, um, she come to, I don't know, just... She come to a different country, let's say, I don't know, let's say she comes to Finland, she comes to Finland, and um, she's just walking the street, and angry, crazy man grab her hair, and he's like, you, <laughs> you scammed me, and she's like, what, and you never know because you can meet this, you know, person in at night, and uh, he will really believe that you scammed him. But you have no no clue about this, and it's really scary. It's really scary. So that's why um, I'm also worried of myself, and I, I would like really to help each lady who had been in this situation, you know, because it's scary. Um, I looked up uh, Yulia Zodiac, she's a bull, mm, she wants us to eat less uh, steak and more uh, burger, well, this pork chop is not on the menu. <laughs> Thank you, Tony, for asking, Yulia is not a Taurus, I'm a Taurus, I'm the bull, and Yulia, she's Aries, Aries is like, um, is like uh, a sheep. <laughs> yeah, it's actually areas they are sheep, yes, sheep, yes. So I I'm uh I'm Chinese zodiac. No 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 Yue is areas. I'm Taurus. I, I love um uh also um uh ast um a astrology very much. Uh, so that's why I know about this a lot and I'm so much into it. It's also one of my hobbies. So <laughs> thank you very much, Tony. Thank you for for messaging. Also, guys, um, also Tony, uh, if you like Yulia, join her live stream. Uh, it's supposed to be on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. So join. Subscribe not to miss it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Thanks, Diana. I'm talking about Chinese zodiacs, but thank you for giving me details about her uh, star signs because this means this means war. What means war? Aries. What means war? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> yes, I found it interesting, guys. I hope all of you will not 
close this live stream after Tony and I started talking about zodiac signs because I think that for men it's very boring. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. If you guys can share, by the way, your zodiac zodiac signs here in comments, I will really like this. I will really like this because it's one of my hobbies and I know a lot about this. It's uh, it's more about practicing, um, not theory, but practicing, because practice and theory are different. And I know a lot about this on practicing, not by theory. So thank you. Deanna is a black widow with long term. Oh, yes. Thank you very much, Gil. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a big compliment for me because black widows are my favorite, um, uh, are my favorite um, uh, spiders. So I love them very much. And I was really, really dreaming of having one, but the problem is that they are poisoning. So I will not have opportunity to, to, to uh, you know, to hold her in my hands every day. So that was the reason why I did not. Um, take it but i would really love to i love this um this uh, beautiful spiders they are perfect thank you Arius is the god of war really wow i did not know about this wow thank you for letting me know i'm sagittarius she's Arius. they can only uh be one a fire sign absolutely absolutely <laughs> Well, Juan Antonio, are you also Aries? Are you also Aries? Aries. Ah, oh, Aries. Oh, you were just helping me with pronunciation. <laughs> Thank you. Aries. Okay, now I understood. <laughs> yes thank you guys yeah i like this topic if you can also message me your zodiac sign here um i will be happy to know it's really cool <laughs> i like this topic you know people that i met uh, they are usually like you believe in zodiac really and after a while like two weeks ago after they're like diana tell me something about about virgos <laughs> like they after people communicating with me and after i helping them to know more about this they understand what is this about because unfortunately there are a lot of stereotypes like this about that all this is bullshit and i understand this um i used to not to believe in this also until i have started using it on practice and it helps a lot because it can really help you to understand what kind of personality um uh, uh, standing here with you and um, it can help you a lot to understand about person and there are you know there are also many um, many details in this because uh, your sun side is just a little part a little little part of this puzzle and of course there are um, your own um, characteristics and how you were brought up and your character mixed together of course but that you can tell a lot what if, if you will deep deep down in this because sun side it's your date of birth uh is why people are know about this um, a lot because it's just the easiest way to it's just the easiest thing to know because all of us can know it but if you will kind if you sorry if you will count your um also your time of birth you can find out uh a lot more about yourself because there are um main uh sign it's called ascendant it's uh counted by your uh by your time of birth location and the date and all together help so it's the main one your sun side will not tell a lot about you just just your sense out is just something about what's out outside of you inside of you are different uh sunset are different sides so <laughs> uh i'm libro oh Antonio. nice to meet you again <laughs> uh diana you are cool oh, thank you so much I don't believe in zodiac stereotype, but it's fun to play with. Yes, because as I've told you, there are many details into it. People are only 
what, what happens if that all of us know the our sun side because as i told you it's, you don't need anything to count it you just know the date and that's it and people just read on newspaper newspaper are written not by astrologists or internet no absolutely they're written just by people who are sitting in there and they think okay i will write down that leo will have a good day today and uh, libra will be a shiny star but <laughs> it's not the reality so uh people just read it and they think oh i'm libra it says here that i will have a good day but i have bad day so it's false <laughs> but it doesn't work like this it's more it's much more deep and more interesting so uh, most men will pretend to be interested in the signs so they can smash have the <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh my other sides are all earth wow wow what earth what, what what exactly earth it's great so that means wow 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 gregory is a cancer wow i love gregory wow oh my god i have bad experience with cancers usually where we're not you know not get along by the way also stereotype if the taurus and cancer they should be perfect together perfect friendship and perfect understanding but on practice it's not like this and uh, yes yeah. <laughs> i'm sorry for talking about this but i really love this topic it's, you understand it's my big big hobby my big passion so it's hard for me to stop <laughs> uh what up uh feel feel us what up feel us uh, if a broad talks about how see, uh, how see believers in zodiac signs on the date, I'm out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eric. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Don't scare Eric away. <laughs> okay, Eric, I'm sorry. So, yeah, just to come back to our main topic is the women's scam. So if you have any questions about this, I will be happy to answer. And, uh, yeah, you know, um, when I was, um, me and my friends, when we were, when we were looking for a job, um, the main, the main uh, red flag for us to understand that this job is scam is just when they ask you to take the passport with you. And unfortunately, they have uh, a very good business in Ukraine. They have very good offices in the center of Kiev, and um, it's full of, you know, a new um, technique, new computers, new everything, because they earn, oh my God, um, crazy money. And unfortunately, that's how it is. So big red flags for Ukrainian to understand that this work is scamming if it is if they ask for a passport first of all and also if if also they have an office in the center of Kyiv and it's not a big company this is also a red flag I'm Gemini wow Bill I knew that you're Gemini I I can see that yes <laughs> Well, I would like uh, to see Tony uh, go live and Juan again. Yes, guys, I just wanted to remind you that we have this option to join live uh, with me together. So uh, you're welcome to join. You're welcome to join. Just click on the link. Uh, but wanted to remind you, please, that we only have 10 minutes. Okay, not more because... Uh, <laughs> uh you know i would really appreciate to talking with you but if we will talk uh i think uh, it can last for hours so <laughs> let's keep 10 minutes um okay it's uh it's our rule so it will be good for everyone um because if um one of our ladies goes live for one hour um you can join her and if she's going for two hours live uh two guys can join her so you will have 10 minutes for lady to have enough time to talk you know also uh have at it guys i'm not at home today okay great Tony, i wish you to have a great great day 
Uh, it depends on the topic, though, because I get sidetracked easily. Get sidetracked? What does it mean? Tell me what does it mean. Um, but I'm open. Okay, great. So I just left the link below so you can join. But re remember that the camera should be on. <laughs> uh, Diana, you need to stop watch bell. It's a great, great suggestion, Bill. It's a great suggestion. But I don't know actually if there is an option to put this uh, bell or some timer. Anywhere here uh, in on YouTube, I'm not sure about this. I think no, that makes it makes it harder. But I think it's a great idea. Yeah, sure. What? What? Thank you very much. You can uh, if you message us to info. Um, we have it. So yes, of course, we'll reach out to this as soon as we will. You know. Uh, have time for thank you very much <laughs> and auto timeout thing guys it's a great suggestion but do you know how to put it here because I, I think it's there is no option to put it that's why uh Diana there is a website where you can set ah stop watch that's loud <laughs> Oh, guys! So you just you just suggest to put the time watch in an, on another tab, like yeah, on another. Okay, it's a good idea. Thank you very much. I appreciate your your uh, ideas. I get disconnected, Tony. Oh, is it me? Is it my uh, connection? Internet connection is my internet connection as well, or is it your yours? Guys, is everything okay with my internet? Because for me, it seems like everything is well. So please let me know. Uh, what are you talking about right now? Yeah, so today's main topic is um, a scam for ladies. I, I mean, no, it sounds like, no, 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 it sounds wrong. Uh, is how ladies are scammed, how also ladies are scammed. So. Uh, you can also use Google for that. Wow, to put this timer, yeah? Wow, thank you very much. Thank you. But what, oh, we'll try that. Yeah, it's a good idea. Uh, or buy a cooking bell. Oh, my God. Yes, guys, I was dreaming to find a cooking bell. But I don't know. Uh, when I was living in Ukraine, uh, I, I was dreaming to find it. But I don't know why it's hard. it was hard to find it in Ukraine. So I like this idea. Uh, distra uh, distracted, uh, Dina, just connected. Oh, oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> distracted. <laughs> okay, easy. Yes, yes, guys, you're welcome to join, but remember that your camera should be on. And I also going to uh, finish the live stream soon. So if you want to join me, please join me now. Okay. Talking about Western women and your dating experience. I talk about Western women and your dating experience. Wow, Tony, yeah, you're welcome to join. I will be happy to talk to you. What was the dating experience you had? <laughs> Where are you from, by the way? Where are you from, Tony? Where are you from? You're from States, yes? Your connection is fine. Thank you, Gregory. Thank you. I'm going in. Wish me luck. Yes, Tony. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> I can send you the link here in the chat again so you can join. Oh, hello. hello. I'm in. Hello. Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome. What up? Damn, this looks pretty good. Oh, hello. So, what exactly? Are you... hello. Oh, hello. oh, I'm sorry, Tony. Hello. I can hear a hall. Can you please? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. So, what exactly? Are you... Hello. Oh, I'm what? sorry, Tony. I can hear a hall. Uh, your video should be oh, on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Something's happening. What's happening? Uh, what is happening? Yeah, please stop the video or turn off your sound on the computer. Got it. I'll, I'll restart it. Yeah. Something's happening. What's happening? Yeah, Tony, you should just turn off your um, your sound or on your computer, okay? And I will just bring you in again. Uh, you can you can just um, turn off the sound on the computer because, as I understand. You oh the reason is also might be that you are uh, logged into the studio with the phone and with a computer at a time so you should log in only with one I mean or with your phone or with your computer because otherwise there is an echo 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 because I'm logged in also with my phone now and with my computer and uh, to not to have echo, <laughs> uh, I need to connect only with, I mean, oh, to put the sound only on one. Uh, Jack from YouTube logs in from the road to help the Facebook analysis. Hola, Diana! Hola, Jack! <laughs> Hola. Oh, okay, Tony's back. Is it working? Hola, no. Uh, they're not working <laughs> uh yes I, I have just muted you tony i'm sorry please try to just turn off your um volume, not volume. Not working. <laughs> on, on your computer tony, I'm sorry. turning off please the volume uh-huh and log out of your computer just close it on your computer log out close, close me yeah close it on your computer <laughs> okay okay so just leave the studio yeah ah i lose you again oh my god i don't know what is the reason of the eco so you you log in only with one only with computer yes you log in only with computer and this happens i don't know the first time uh for those uh, that don't know why I said that's something we talked about during one of you li or live streams. <laughs> wow. Yes, here is also suggestion and uh, lower the volume on your computer so the microphone doesn't catch it. <laughs> Thank you. Eco. Eco. Thank you. <laughs> in in uh, my language is echo, so that's why I'm trying echo. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm logging on my Mac. Oh, why? Why that happens? Donnie, I don't know why this happens. Hello, Verardo. Hello. <laughs> uh, Donnie, if I recall, you were 27, looking like 21. Mm. Don't don't say something bad please guys to each other be polite <laughs> uh don is alive <laughs> uh the chat stream is on the different app and if you leave youtube open at the same time you're going to get to running together yes yes so you need just to um to to join to connect with one with or with the computer or with the um eco no echo <laughs> i don't know hello tony again okay oh no i can hear you well welcome welcome wait is it working out yes now it's better the room is a little echoey right now but don't mind me though okay. yes can you please just Put your your phone a little bit more down like this, so I will I will. Yeah, now it's better. Yeah, great. great How are great. you, Tony? Somebody um, I'm great. Messaged... I'm doing great. What about you, though? I'm fine too. Somebody messaged here in the chat that you're 27. Yeah, yeah I'm 27. Yeah, great. great. How are you, Tony? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yes, again. This this happens again with the sound. Uh, do you have? Please, please don't worry. Just uh, let me help you. So, do you have anything open on your phone or on your computer right now? Also, uh, do you have? 
Okay, never mind. The video was on. <laughs> Is it good? Now it's better. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Your your video was on a while, so that was the reason. Yeah, you. Can okay, I was freaking only... out there, but thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so where are you located? Are you in states or where are you from? Um, I'm in I'm in Northern Virginia, like 20 minutes from DC. It's pretty fun. Whoa! Well, how's the weather in Virginia? Um, the weather right now it's it's raining heavily outside, so. Oh <gasps> wow! I am. It's very bad weather here. Like, it's so painful. Wow. Well, I envy you. I'm dreaming about the rain here in Spain. So really? That's nice. Yes, yes, because it was really hot summer and unfortunately, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fine. Okay. So, uh, so here. Uh huh. Sorry. So what are we sorry. talking about now, though? Sorry? So we're talking about the, the relationship here, right? Or yes. Yes. Do you have any questions about this? So yeah, um, somebody messaged in the chat that you had some dating experience with the Ukrainian lady. No. Yeah, that was like in the past, you know. But things things were different now because I mean she was born in America, so her mindset's like technically American, so that's why it didn't work out. I'm not bashing American women though, but I'm just saying their mindset is so different from us right now. Really? What are the most difference you can uh, like top three difference between um? mentality of uh, slavic women and a western um slavic women from my experience they're more traditional like everybody says they don't judge you which i really love like i'm like in america they will judge you based on your based on stereotype because you know, like i'm asian so they're they're putting me inside this box you know asian guys are short we have i'm not going to mention on that on that part and they, and then we live with our parents but I don't do that because I'm like a rep, like I'm a, I'm rebellious. So. Wow, it's a really stereotype. Yeah, it's strange, and you have to be like six feet. But I, I missed like two mark from six feet, but but it's be like six foot, or and you have to make like six figure, which is it's kind of ridiculous. Like I'm only twenty seven, but and they expect you to have all this, and you have to be like Brad Pitt, or you have to be famous in order for them to be with you. But again, not all women are like that, but just the one I've been with, they're, they're kind of they're kind of judgmental. But I mean, you mentioned that Asian uh, man lives with their parents. Is this true? Um, in the, well, if you're traditional in the, in the countryside, then yes. But if you're like in the West, you're more Westernized and you're more like into like, in, like independence and you want to move out. Wow. It's mm -hmm. about Sp Spain also because really? I can see that, that that people they live with their parents till they are oh my god till they are twenty seven for 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 us Slavic people it's just shock because like in Ukraine as soon as you turn seventeen you enter to university and you move out just everybody nobody wants to live with their parents I mean so it's pretty rare it's really, and it's painful living with your parents painful I, mean, I love them. But eventually, I wanted. I just want to get my own place, you know. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, because Virginia, it's not. It's kind of boring over here. Let's admit it. Like, we have like the malls like twenty minutes away, and the city like DC is like twenty minutes away. Like, I have to drive and everything. This is not cool. And people wow. here, like, there people here are, are like horrible drivers, you know. Like, it's not cool. Why horrible drivers? <laughs> I mean, they, okay, when the light is green, you're supposed to go. But here, they don't go. They just stop. And when there's the, red, the light is red, people just like start looking like crazy. And I was like, just go already. Green means go. It doesn't mean like just stand there and just do nothing though. Like I've been yeah. like, I've my hair up enough, like enough to get bald in it because of that. <laughs> so annoying. Have though. you been to Ukraine? People are there. They don't know how really? to drive. Also, yes. Oh god. Problem. But I think I don't know. People here in Spain are, Spain are much more polite, so they will always let you go, even if the lights are red. They will let you go in Ukraine, even when the lights are green. Sometimes where they will not let you go, so they will not stop. So it's yeah. Oh, well, that, that reminds me. Like I visited my parents' country, like in Vietnam, and when the lights, like thing you mentioned, right? When it's green, you don't you don't let people go. 
in Vietnam, they just drive whatever. There's like there's like no rules there. <laughs> but I almost died just walking the street just to get to like oh the local God. restaurant. And people just drive like bam, and I was like right here. And it was a little, little scary, man. Like, so bad. I had a situation when I was eight years old. I was crossing the street and there was a zebra, like zebra, so I can go. How it's called in English? Zebra? The same? Yeah, zebra. No? I mean this um um white uh, things on the floor where mm-hmm. people can can go like uh... really <laughs> okay i'm going just to show you because i don't know how to call it correctly so th- so i was just crossing the road uh e- and uh, i i was crossing the road in the slipper slippery um shoes in the after the rain and i just um fall, fall down and the man he was driving and he all all almost you know crashed crashed me on the road and after he went out of his car and he started shout shouting at me i was a child it was terrible i was crying and i was very scared because he was shouting at me probably not probably but actually because of nothing let me just show you to ask you how it's called how this called well that i just call it a like this, I don't know, I never where, did. where people can cross the road i think those are crosswalk crosswalk oh yes <laughs> i feel stupid now thank you very much <laughs> No, cool. Thank you very much. Crosswalk. Now I just yes. Cross, so crosswalk. Yeah, people die in that in Vietnam though. <laughs> yeah. That's where people die. But. Oh, guys, guys, help me here. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, getting, <laughs> thank you. Thank I you think we're good. getting sidetracked a little bit. So should we answer some questions, maybe? Yes. Yes. Let me just yeah. Um, Tony, Diana, they actually have a TV show here showing drivers from Russia, Ukraine, etc. Uh, uh, causing accidents. Majority of the video they show are from Eastern Europe. Oh my God, really? Oh my God. Oh, I, I heard this from my friends too. Like my friend's like Ukrainian, but he's like, he's just been to this country and stuff. They said like people that drives there, they're like crazy. Yes. Ukrainian drives are really crazy. Like he, he could have died at like a company or Kate like on a few occasions and it was painful but and he's like he said he's never coming back but because of that reason but wow yeah unfortunately it's true oh, he, just, <laughs> because... he just wanted he just wanted sushi but he's gonna get killed for sushi that's that's why he's not coming <laughs> back but like the reason the, the reason is that why this happens guys is that it's really easy to buy um driver license in ukraine you can buy it very easily very cheap and that's why most of people they buy it and yeah it's true and i know that here for example in spain it costs uh locals told me it costs about 600 euros to get this license oh my god in ukraine it's like i don't know exactly but it's very cheap i think it's about 50 dollars maybe to buy it so everybody just buy it i'm scared (laughs) yeah Okay, be careful. I don't get it. You, you want us to come to Ukraine to do our, to meet the ladies, but now you're telling us that we can get killed for doing that. <laughs> so you're trying to scare us away now. <laughs> uh, here's a comment from what, what Deanna, they call it idiots on the road. Wow, wow. Why did the chicken box the road, guys? Oh my god. <laughs> Jacob saying zebra the animal with a very long neck. I know, but in Ukraine we Wait. call this 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 crosswalk, we call it zebra. It's yeah, it's called zebra just because this, you know, black and white. And uh, that's why I didn't know just that it's crosswalk. Now I know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Manet zavut D. Wow, Samson, Samson is saying here that his name is also D. Because my short version of the name is D. Nice to meet you. Mm. <laughs> no, giraffes have long necks. Yeah, now I'm confused. I think, but, but I mean, zebra also has a bit long neck. <laughs> oh my God, great I material made. for the live stream. 
Uh, I was trying to be funny, but it didn't go very well. I don't think. No, it's fine. No, 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 no. You're cool, man. You're cool. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <coughs> uh, the stuff uh, that I've seen on this show makes me question that uh, discount special. They got their driver's license from uh, when they uh, bought something from the supermarket. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they do this in my country style too. Yes. Strange. Uh, uh, try Mexican city traffic during a soccer football tournament. Uh, we were traveling on the bus and I saw a man get uh, disappeared, laugh out of the window. Crazy traffic and drivers. Oh my God, Jack. <laughs> Yes, it's crazy. It's crazy. Do you know, guys, about this story when the uh, young lady in Kharkiv, she just, um, she was driving uh, drunk or high or something like this. She was uh, 86 or, no, not, oh my God, not 86, 26 or 27 like this. And she just uh, crashed like seven people. Um, just they died it's real story why because driver listens is just yeah hello diana from michigan hello everybody in the chat hello hello hands <laughs> michigan is cool man I've heard <laughs> uh tony going back to american women would you say women on the east coast are more demanding yes <laughs> um, not all of them, but majority, yes. Yeah. So they're like you have to be again. You have to be, you have to be a good. You have to be like fit this per perfect scenario, a perfect image. Like you be like six foot. You have to be make six figures. You have to look like this. You have to be like a football player or something like that. It's very demanding. And if you're not like that, or you're not like some, you don't have some kind of status, then they're probably gonna find another guy. But not all women are like this. So don't don't get me wrong, but. The one I've met so far, yes. Mm, I see. But I've, I've I not experienced that in my friends group though, because the ladies in my friend group, in my circle, they're not like that. But maybe because like I choose to not focus on the, the negative ladies, which is why I start at, like I start bringing more positive, like the positive ladies into my life though. But i think that with the ukrainian lady, they're not like this. Yes, but they um. I mean, they are very, um, very worried about personal communication. I mean, that really? there. I mean, there are many, many tips that you must know before dating with the Ukrainian lady because, you know, little thing can spoil everything, and this is the difficult. No, 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 no. That, that reminds me. You know, like back in high school, like I, you know, how in Ukraine you feel like a gentleman and all, right? Like hold the door for the lady and take her yeah. jacket and all. In America, I got insulted for that. Wow. You know, like back in high school, like I like I let this girl go first. Like I was like, hey, ladies wow. first. And then she's like, she just gave me this look. What? Like she gave me the look, like I'm like she's about to kill me or something. And I'm just being nice, you know, like and she's one of those popular girls in school, you know, that thinks like every guy likes her, but this is sad. Yeah, I meet the same here in Spain. Ladies are like um they are feministic but in the um, bad meaning of this word they doesn't let the man to take care of them to be a gentleman and this is very bad but uh, I, here's... yes I sir? the reason that they're like that's because be, because of, there are bad guys in america i'm gonna admit like some guys are just being nice for one day but all of a sudden they have all their notice like they want to get into like her pants or something but just to be nice to a girl and just do just a woo her. And after it just like hit and run. And the next day he's like gone. So most of the ladies here, they have to shield up. Not all, like there are some bad women, but from my from like when I heard from my friends, they're they're kind of like that. Because a lot of guys here are kind of kind of weird. They're not cool. Mm -hmm. That's why the ladies have their guards up. So, you know, I can't really blame them at the same time. Because mm -hmm. but yeah. But feminism is a problem. That is a big problem. <laughs> Here's another question for, for you from Bill. Tony, you're looking good. What are your hobbies or talents? Did you ever visit paper letter sites? 
My thought is, well, I, I'm getting to, I just got into tennis, so I'm trying to, trying to get wow. back in shape. You know, wow. COVID kind of took the, like, I put on some pound over COVID, and working remotely just doesn't help either. And as for my other hobbies outside of, yes, I do play video games, but not all the time, but which is just with my friends. But most most of the time, I just prefer learning other you know, like new skills because I'm like I'm I'm still 27, so I still got a life ahead of me. But I want to focus on a certain skill set and develop it so I can create this future for myself in the future. Mm -hmm. You know, because I don't want to just live this being simple. Because again, mm -hmm. life is life is short. You know, and a hundred, like 50 years from now or something, I'll be in my deathbed looking back. What have I done that put an impact into this world? What kind of legacy have I left behind? That's that's basically what it is. Because <laughs> I want to feel like I did something. And right now, I'm, I'm, I'm just focused on digital marketing because I, mean, I love this career. Wow. wow. So and as for paper letter? Yeah. Yeah, I have one of these. Yes? I've been on this website. I believe Joe does have this website on his, on his list, but I'm not going to say it. Okay. It was a paper mm -hmm. letter site. I didn't know it at first. I was... To be honest, I wasn't looking to date anybody. I was just looking for people to, to talk to. And I got online and this Ukrainian lady, just she's about my age, so I didn't really think it was a scam to begin with. And she started talking to me. And at first, like, I was just, she just seemed cool and all, you know, like she gets all my hobbies and she, we have a lot in common for some reason. But as we keep talking, I started noticing something like a little bit of fishiness. And she started saying like her, her mom is sick and she needs money for this and that. You have money to like help her mom, and she need money to help her little brother. And this is where the this is where she slipped up though. She's the, like at that time I was only like eight. I was like nineteen, twenty, and she was around like nineteen, twenty as well, or around like I think she was eighteen. But she said her ten year old son was sick. Her ten year old sick like son literally like he's in the hospital. And I thought of that like wait weren't you eighteen? And then you minus ten from his, from her son right. 10 minus 18, she'll be like eight. I'm like, did she really have a kid when she was eight? And that's when she <laughs> slipped up though. Like I, that's when I realized like this, this guy told me a new scammer, like he's new to the business. Oh my and, God. And I was like, I, I just stopped all communication. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of stuff, but I kind of wasted his time a little bit like to start sending him weird messages just to just to mess with him. Cause I was, I was mad at that point though. So yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Anne agrees with you. Uh, the American, uh, sorry, the American ladies that from good up uh, bringing are well mannered. Those are with negative mostly come from negative upbringing. Really? Yeah, true, true that. Here is also wow, Tony. Your popular guys are asking you so many questions. Uh, Tony, are you looking for a girl from Ukraine or? Uh, you are open to any kind of girl. To be honest, I tried dating girl. Well, I am looking for a girl from Ukraine, but not right now. But I just love the culture because your food is so good, though. Like that. Oh, thank you. Remember, remember the thing salad like shuka or something, right? I mean, I, I don't really eat salad. Okay, I, I hate salad. But ever since I went to my friend's house and I tried this pink salad, I was hesitant at first, but I tried it. <laughs> I was like, dude, where has this been all my life? <laughs> this is myth, like I need this in my life though and plus his family is so nice like I see how his mother treated me like he's like she's like all hospitality and caring I see how her mom and dad treat each other they're like so like, they get along so well though and then I look at my my own family like my aunt and uncle like they argue all the time though and I realized that that's not what I want like I want this guy and I want some <laughs> that shuka too like I want, I want some shuka in my life you know make some more pink, those pink salad though but yeah, in general, I'm open to Ukrainian girl, but I'm also I'm keeping myself open minded for other ladies too. But because I don't I don't judge people, so yeah, I'm, I'm staying open minded though. But Ukraine is where I would go because because uh, you guys got good food though. <laughs> you guys got good Christmas too. You, you guys like like two Christmas right? Like a longer Christmas. Yeah, we have New Year. <laughs> New Year is more celebrated than Christmas. Christmas is only for religious people. Like, and mostly it's like a family, just a family celebration. But New Year is something much more. New Year is just a big, big, big celebration, huge celebration with friends and it can be with relatives. So it's, yeah, it's more celebrated. 
Yeah, but wait, when does New Year celebrate? Like literally on January? Uh, no, New Year is uh, on September. Oh, sorry, <laughs> September. Yes, that's September. Perfect, December, right? Perfect. <laughs> December 31st and uh, Christmas is January 7th. Yeah, January 7th. Yeah, you guys get more Christmas than us, though. I mean, <laughs> personally, me being a December's kid, um, my birthday is in December, right? But yeah. The thing is, I don't get that birthday because it's either Christmas or my birthday. You know, I don't oh. get two things. So with Ukrainian families, I can get two things, like many things at once. So it's it's, it's yes. really nice. <laughs> That's what I love, though. I mean, I love the culture. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, Tony, I think that we're out of... Uh, um... 10 minutes and it was very nice to talk to you but i th should finish the live stream so i hope thank that you. you will join us in the future thank you very much for joining us cool. today yes i appreciate to talk to you and thank you. yes yes thank you very much tony have a great day you too thank you yes take care thank you bye bye <laughs> yes guys i really like it you see i'm much much i have much much more i don't know um this energy and i love it very much to talk to you like this live uh let me just um uh answer your questions before i will finish okay uh я наче плюс зустрічався з дівчиною з Дніпра але вона so samson is saying that he, uh, he was dating with a lady from Dnipro from Ukraine but she's crazy <laughs> i'm sorry samson for your experience i'm also from Dnipro, so i know people from Dnipro. they are crazy it's true uh i put a profile up on one of uh, those sites with no picture on my profile and have women messaging me how good looking i am it's reality why because i've told you yes before they are making this um, script scripts not scripts um these messages it should be, they ask every day to create 30 provo provocative messages. To message just men like this. And uh, why? Because other girls, girls, other profiles are messaging him also. And he will choose the most provocative, provocative, I'm sorry, guys, <laughs> different, difficult word, message. They will choose it and they will read it. That's why it should be some, something uh speed spill the beans diana which means tell us ukrainian lady secrets mm. <laughs> thank you jack yes i know about this proverb so um, ukrainian lady secret is that ukrainian lady notice notices a lot of things a lot of things i think she um, notice the same many thing as american lady but it's just my suggestion but i think the difference between american and ukrainian lady is that american lady will tell you about this and ukrainian lady will not tell you so what do you think of it guys <laughs> um Jacob, I made a fake account the other day to get past the registration wall on some scam sites. Immediately got spammed by at least 10 bots. No pictures, no filter in profile, nothing. Uh, Diana, what's your favorite Christmas dish from the A20 uh, course dinner? Ah, my favorite dish is uh, to tell the truth, guys guys there are these 20 dishes on christmas and they are um like traditional christmas we don't cook it we cook i mean we cook traditional dishes but for new year and it's not necessary to have 20. it's olivier it's um this you call it pink salad but it's not pink it's just with beets and mayonnaise on it and it mixes and it looks like pink color but the reality is it's purple not pink so this one is very popular and um we don't keep this tradition about 20 dish dishes 20 dishes tradition is a for very very religious people those 
might keep it, but we're not. And uh, I like um, very much, I like all, what, what, I love food in general so much that I, what I usually do on New Year, I take a big plate. <laughs> I even have a picture somewhere. I have, I take a big plate and I give all that on the table, but by pieces and I put it on the plate and usually I don't even, even have space on my plate. So I put it in the napkin here and here. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, it's true because I love eat to eat so much. A question for for Tony here: What will you eat when you come to Ukraine besides salo? What? <laughs> I got kicked out. It's not true. <laughs> She's a bull. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Uh, I spent 100 in total on that PPL site. But, Tony, I can con congratulate you that there was only 100, not more. Yeah, like what would uh, message in here? Rather 100 than 100,000. Uh, you came out um, unscathed compared to many others. Twelve. Oh my god, not twenty. Sorry guys, today my English goes wrong. I don't know, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> so Ukrainian love mayonnaise. Absolutely. We eat we put it guys. We put it to to all the salads. All the salads are with mayonnaise. Except for one vinaigrette. One without mayonnaise. Other we all with mayonnaise, so yeah. I bought brought red borscht shashlik for lunch. Deal. Deal. I want shashlik and borscht too. You love food? Uh, you and Julia should make great great friends. You both love a cat. You both like paint. You both love food. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for food. Yes. 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 Julia is very, very nice lady and I love her so much. Even though I don't know her for a long time, but she's very, very nice. So thank you. <laughs> the man is all gone. Uh, uh, so my so much madness. It hurts me, but the food is so good. Yes, the truth is, I would not say that Ukrainian food is super healthy. I mean, yeah, uh, like every day. It can be because we eat a lot of porridges like grechka and a lot of porridge. We eat it, so it's not that much um, um, unhealthy. But anyway, it's still unhealthy because there are a lot of mayonnaise, a lot of you know um, food which which was. Um, uh, um, like barbecue, I mean, a lot of, sometimes it's spicy, so not that much, but. Oh, I'm sorry about this also. Yes, yes. Tony, about the truth. So, yes, guys, thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, I think I need to finish. And I was really nice. It was really nice to talk with Tony. And guys, I just wanted to remind you once again to... Subscribe on our channel, please, ukrainedating.co.tv, sorry, .tv. And we're going to have more ladies in the future join us. So subscribe, hit the bell not to miss uh, future uh, live streams. Like this video and join of our um, beautiful ladies' uh, next live streams. So thank you very much for joining. Um, pray for Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. Royam Slava. And I wish you all to have a great day and take care. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. My ideal woman is Diana and we all day. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bill. <laughs> thank you. Пока, пока, until next time. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. I, I really, really love when you join me. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs>
Have a great day and take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.